Yeah, yeah no, you can yeah. just leave it partially open. Oh, okay. Have fun. I will. <laughs> Power PC play ready desktop gaming PC. Comes with a keyboard, of course. Not gonna use that. Um, it comes with one free month of Game Pass. And um, important, I ain't gonna read that. Wi-Fi antennas. And a power cord. Not sure. Um, anyways. So careful. Okay, hold on. You do not know how careful I am being. What is that? I. What? It's a plastic piece. I don't know what it's from. There it is. Important. The display port um, connected here, I guess. That's not even a place to connect it. Anyways. Oh, yep, here's the mesh at the top. Okay, so right here we have the little opening panel, and that swings quite a ways out. We got, oh, a mouse, which I'm not also not gonna use. Oh, I'm so scared to do this. So it comes with a do-it-yourself um, packing remover. I paid for it. Oh shit, I bent it. Well, GPU, it's a dual fan PNY brand RTX for those who are wondering. Um, and yeah, this is what the inside looks like. Um, yeah, the, the CPU is water cooled, which is pretty neat. Never owned that before. That's what the front looks like. And now, the real reason why you're here. You know it. Oh, that's a nice close. This might not be a one-handed project. Hold on. Nice. So yeah, there's just a little thing here to open it. Oh, there's another one. Sweet. I'm praying that this hinge is strong enough. You know, I'm not I'm not testing it. Hold on. Um. Anyways, we got T-Force brand RAM. This is CyberPower PC branded cooling. And yeah, that is super neat. And yeah, I'll see you guys when it's all set up. Okay, so I don't think I realized the size of this thing. This is compared to a 32 inch monitor, so it is not small. Um, but yeah, here goes nothing. This is my first time ever powering it on. That is a lot of RGB. Um, so yeah, I don't know who's curious about this. Oh, there it goes. Gigabyte, oh. But yeah, this is a lot of RGB, and also there is another module for the RGB underneath, so that's pretty neat. It's got a total of six fans, um, including the exhaust, the liquid cooling, and the intake. So that's pretty neat. Um, I don't know how to control the RGB on the RAM yet, but maybe that's already programmed into the computer, but yeah, this is pretty neat. Uh, yeah, the cable management is horrendous, cry about it. I'm not gonna try to take the time to make it look nice, but I'll update you guys when I'm all set up. For those who are wondering, it is metal. Most of it, anyways. Um, this part, not metal. This part is metal. Um, the top is metal, but yeah, it's, it's, there's a lot of metal on it, which I was not expecting, but it is nice. Yeah, this little door is held on with magnets. It's a pretty nice, secure design. Um, it is a super quiet PC. I mean, not all the fans are spun up right now, um, but it is like surprisingly really quiet. There's a little rattle over here. I don't know if you can hear it. 
Um, but yeah, it's I'm very happy with how it sounds so far. So I've been using it for a little over a week now, and I have honestly no complaints. It's a really good PC. I've been playing pretty high intensity games with no snags, no flaws whatsoever. Um, like very high FPS in whatever task I'm having it do. I am currently editing in DaVinci Resolve 18, and it's running it way better than my old computer ever would have. And the RGB, it's a lot. But it's cool, I really like it. I just got my second monitor hooked up and it doesn't slow down the computer at all. I mean, I have no complaints to be completely honest. I really like this computer and I would highly recommend it. I'll also go over the specs for all my fellow nerds out there. So it is CyberPower PC branded. It's got an AMD Ryzen 7 7800X3D, 8 cores, 4.2 gigahertz. It's got 32 gigabytes of DDR5 RAM, Windows 11 Home. It's got a 4070 Super 12 gigabyte. It came with two terabytes of SSD, but I put another two in. It's got T4 branded RAM and a water-cooled CPU. And there are seven fans in the case, um, one exhaust, five intake, and two graphics cards. I'm not sure about inside the power supply unit. But I honestly genuinely have nothing to complain about. It's been a flawless machine so far, and the RGB is great, and it's just, yeah, it's really, really well built, and I don't have anything to complain about.